Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of PGA Tour 2K23. We're about to start round four of the Golf Club Championship at DPC Boston. So far we've had an absolutely perfect round, perfect tournament for that matter. We've had a minus seven, minus eleven, minus six. Last round we got our uh, first bogey of the tournament. Hopefully we don't get any more of those. The third round was pretty challenging. The winds were up there and the pinhole locations were tough, but we managed to expand our lead and stay at the top of the leaderboard. Now all we have to do is close out the final round and bring the championship home. Let's go golf. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the TGC Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances today? Never easy going to bed with the lead and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going into this final round. Certainly excited to see how today plays out, Rich. And let's see what he can do here today. Second shot here on the first. Oh. <laughs> and just a supremely accurate shot from the way out. Right at it. Butting for birdie. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Out to that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. The tempo there was exquisite. Players in the history of the game have had a bigger impact so early in their career than Colin Morikara, Rich. Uh, some comparisons go as close to Tiger Woods. As they should be currently right now with what he has done in the game so far in his young career. He's come out each and every week and put pressure on every single player because of his ball striking and because they know that there's no weaknesses in his game other than Get sometimes over. the putter, but when you hit it as good as he does, you're bound to make a putt now and again. And each and every week when he shows up, close players close on the driving range gentlemen. are looking at him going, okay, he's here, I gotta have my A game. Certainly feels like sky's the limit for Colin Morikawa. Two major championships under his belt right now, surely more in his future. That was a gallant oh. attempt. Oh, how good was that? Almost an eagle. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. That's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Nice line. Oh, see that line was looking good, wasn't it? There it is. To that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Time to face a par four. Almost every player in the field will be going for this green. Where do you hit it? Front right part of the green is the perfect 
target, missing it to the left in the bunker or long and right. That is not good. Beautiful shot. Well, that's a handy shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 26 feet from the cup. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Five feet coming up to the cup. Yep, tracking nicely. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. That is definitely a confidence builder. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. Great looking shot, this. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Okay, steady now. Putting for a par now. Not a bad line, this. That was a top-level approach shot, but unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa in second. From around 140 yards here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. They've decided to club up. And how about that for confidence? going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, you're going to be hard Beautiful to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Fourth birdie of the day. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. Ting off here at the seventh. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. What a gargantuan tee shot. Four victories so far this season. Oh, golf clap, that's a beauty. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, how good was that? Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Our leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. We've reached the eighth hole. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three, to say the least. Looks like they've got the five wood. A yeah, tidy looking shot, that one. Flag stick. Wow. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. And he needs this to save par. That's pretty tidy. Yeah, we'll take Good that. Par. 
And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a club. That's some good golf right there. I realize it was still there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, oh. That hurts. oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine play. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. Well played, mate. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Ooh, a 12-footer. Love to make a few of these today. It's got a chance. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And we've hit minus 30 for the tournament. And after that hole, this player is ahead by a whopping 10 strokes. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Going with the five wood. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. And he's down there. You got a read? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Ooh. No, that's too bad. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Ooh, nice line. And down she goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Now it's heading for the fairway. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Big putt. That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to see what this par four has in store. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three.
Game of the seven. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. A chance for a booty if this goes down. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been but really sharp through today. the hole. Don't want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. Ooh, right by the hole. Bogey putt coming up here. Well, they say a bogey mm. pleases someone. Terrible the bogey. rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging one. Quality shot, that one. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Going with the hybrid. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. These are on rails, looking good. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Drop shot, drop shot back right away. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Gives a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Oh, good look at a birdie here. It was on a good line. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This is what they have left for a par. Oh, just missed. No way. Come on. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Par three. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. That's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by Alina. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Currently in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. Not bad. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, what a shot by our leader. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. That was a gallant attempt. Just a four footer remaining. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 18th hole.
And here we are with the third shot. That dog will hunt. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Close this tournament out with the birdie and bring home the championship. Well, Rich, as the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now rich and famous. I Bubba, gotta say, that is an incredible statement by the great man and bestowed upon a great player. And this player will be thrilled to become rich and famous. Rich, this is something you can understand. This player now a major champion. Luke, life-changing indeed, I have to say. I'm thrilled for this player as I know what is in store from them. It's a life-changing moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You see it on the screen? We brought home the golf club championship. We'll be in another good round. Although uh, the bogey started to creep back into our game a little bit. You know, putts we should have made didn't. That doesn't matter. We got the championship. We got some more FedEx Cup points. Gonna expand our lead. It's a beautiful day. You see it, we finished minus 8 on the day, minus 32 for the tournament, Lee Hodges, he had a minus 9 for the day, finished at minus 26, Colin Morikawa, minus 7 for the day, finished at minus 22, Bubba, he's nowhere to be found, he did not have a very good tournament. That's going to bring today's video to a close, please give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.